everyday moments in my everyday life that I've, um, you know, told in a, I guess, a fantastical way. I'm exaggerating what I see around me to, to say the truth in a way that the truth can't expand upon as much as if I'm exaggerating it or fictionalizing it. Well, I think you go into it knowing that there's a pretty high failure rate. And so whatever idea or ideas I might have, the odds of it working out are about 1 in 10. So you just accept that immediately and go on to the next thing and, and, and you persevere. And you, you know that this might not work, but you're not going to know until you try it. So out of 10 trial runs, there, there might be some golden nugget there. And you just you have to know and have the confidence to know that, that that'll come if you, keep, if you keep working at it. Embrace the influence because everything has already been done. But by becoming a little bit of this person, this person, and this person, and this person, it's a completely original voice. Yeah, it's definitely, I think, what... Um, modern parenting and the contradictions and the, the expectations and the overwhelmed feelings that go with parenting today as compared to the past definitely play in. But as I go further and my kids are growing up, um, sometimes the, the little ones and the chaos, it's, it's a little more metaphorical at this point than actually about parenting and more or I'm hoping to go into a direction where it speaks to the anxieties of just everyday contemporary American life and how a lot of us feel, not just mothers. The title Domestic Vacations came from basically, you know, these little moments within the day where you're trying to escape the reality of where you are right then. And it's, you know, we're so in that moment of, living in the moment, living in the moment, you got to appreciate that. That's the buzz phrase of our times. And um, what I found is like sometimes the key to surviving a day is to take yourself out of that moment. I did a piece called Nail Polish where the mom was in the background on the phone. It was kind of based compositionally on that Peter to Hooch with the disappearing perspectives. And then in the foreground, was a little girl getting into the nail polish. So it was actually how her house looked. She had pink walls and checkered floors. So I didn't think about it as looking fantastical when I shot it, but after I got it back and you know the way I lit it, it didn't look like a real environment. And I thought, well, why do I have to do a real environment? You know, who says? You know, maybe I can do a fantastical look at everyday life instead of a documentary. And so that piece is what kind of opened up a new way of thinking at it, you know. And, and in that way, I could look at stressful things in a lighthearted way, and the work could have kind of a different tone than it, as opposed to this is how my life looks. So it was sort of, a, I think people try too hard sometimes to say the right thing, and really, I think. You don't have to be like a person into art or an intellectual if, if the work just kind of washes over them and they feel moved by it in some way, you know, even if it's just a laugh and it's 